Ina and we're both from Public Work Department. Today we are currently at Bukit Jelutong Residential Area where we will focus on the development of slope protection method used in this area. And here come with us inside engineer and the contractor from the IDP Sunar Bahad who are responsible for the slope protection here. Later on, we will interview them about to know more about the slope protection that has been built by them. Okay, here beside me is site engineer and also the contractor from the IDP Sunar Bahad. Uh, this is engineer Muhammad Nur Ain bin Yahya. He is the site engineer uh, who is responsible for the slope protection here at Bukit Jelutong Residential Area. And beside him is Muhammad Faizal bin Ayo, who is the contractor who, ha who has been built the slope here. So I'm here to ask them uh, about a few questions. Uh, I would like to ask in engineer Muhammad Nur Ain. Uh, one of them is what is the method of construction of the slope here at Bukit Jelutong Residential Area? Firstly, I would like to give you a simple explanation about the earthstone construction. Uh, method of construction of stone is uh, using precast concrete block. We stack one block on top of the another without using uh, water, rock or geogrid reinforcement. Tall walls, walls requiring more than three courses or layers of wall stones, you must bury the first course fully. Small walls, walls three courses or less, require that you only partially bury the first course at least two to three inches into the ground. Small walls, which are three courses or less of four inch wall stones, dig out the trench three inches deep. For tall walls that are four to seven courses high of four inch wall stones, the trench must be eight inches deep. Both wall heights require a trench that is 12 inches wide. For a small wall, all you need for a sufficient base is one inch of coarse sand. Place sand in the trench and then level the sand by smoothing it out as shown. Tall walls need a rigid base four inches thick. For a rigid base, use paved stone paper base, or prepare a six to one mixture of dry sand and Portland cement, that is, six shovelfuls of sand for every one shovelful of Portland cement, and make sure it is well blended. Be sure to keep this mixture dry, as it will set if it gets wet. Whichever you use, fill the length of the trench to a depth of four inches, Use a 2x4 to smooth out the base material and make sure it is level throughout in both directions. Now, readjust the string height on your stakes by moving them down to the top of your first wall level. You are now ready to start laying the wall stones. If your wall is set on ground that rises or slopes, begin at the lowest point. Now, set the stones in the base side by side leveling each stone in both directions with a torpedo level as you go. Once the base course is placed, set the next course by placing each stone in a staggered pattern, making sure that each stone bridges the two stones below it so that the joints do not line up. As you place a stone on top of a course, pull it forward to secure it in place. When building your wall, you may need to lay partial stones to complete a course. If you need to cut stones to partial lengths, mark the length you need on the stone. To finish out your project, backfill the wall with native soil and compact in four inch increments. For small walls, just use the soil you excavated from the trench. For tall walls, Use a clean granular backfill like fine gravel or pea gravel at a thickness of about six inches to assist in draining. The question to engineer Muhammad Nur Ain is why IDP Sunan Bahad choose a stone retaining wall for this look? Uh, there are many advantages about this uh, slope retaining wall. As an example, Uh, because a stone is low cost, uh, we which not use a geogrid reinforcement, 
require less excavation, mechanical equipment and labor. And exactly as you can see, uh, there are many kind of uh, vegetation grow. So the this type of uh, retaining wall uh, uh, is a uh, environmental friendly for vegetation. Spend minimum 15, 50 years, but in uh, this stone stone retaining wall, we design for 100 years, and then uh, it, it depends on maintenance work and other other problems such as increased recharge. Okay, so now that we are clear with the lifespan of the retaining wall, I would like to ask you: Are there any problems that might occur with this type of retaining wall? The, uh, this Western retaining wall, uh, there are several problems might occur. For example, uh, as you can see, there. Uh, problem with water seepage can occur where the surface runoff is decreased in this retaining wall. And then, uh, addi additional surcharge also can cause problem with for example, construction of new house, and then if uh, there are no maintenance work, such as uh, tree cutting and road closing, there will be problem to this stone. And then water, water from river, if they increase, increase, increase in level, they will cause a uh, retaining wall to erode. Okay, just now you have mentioned that if there are no maintenance work being done, uh, several problems that you mentioned before will occur. So, what are the examples of maintenance work that should be done here? Uh, there are many maintenance work we are done in this external retaining work. For example, uh, we will check for the drainage uh, and then we cut for the for example, as you can see there, there is one of the problems, but uh, when the maintenance comes, uh, we will cut where the biggest tree. As you can see here, this is an uh, example of low quality of maintenance work. As you can see here, this is uh, the fault of, fault design of the drainage system at the slope which is uh, there are no extension of the drainage system to flow the water. So the water sit on the uh, near side of the uh, road. Okay, we hope all the knowledge that the engineers and the contractors share with us is useful for all the viewers. And we would like to thank them for all the efforts to come here and to give. Uh, their knowledge to share with, with us and all the viewers. Okay, that's all from us. Assalamualaikum and